Welcome to Personal Protection with Lee Hasdell. I hope everybody's well listening to this short podcast. Uh, we're going to be bringing to you some uh, updates and some information on personal protection. Um, for those who know me, you will know that I've got an extensive background in the personal protection world and close protection, uh, self-defense and martial arts. So uh, today's subject is the unbreakable umbrella. Now, we've been trialing this product for the last couple of months. Um, whenever I endorse anything, I like to uh, test it out and to put it through its paces. Uh, there will be some uh, video clips and photos available uh, via our website and Facebook page and uh, private groups. So if you're more interested, then you can get more information on that. Uh, likewise, uh, I do offer tuition with regards to all forms of personal protection, uh, but especially for the unbreakable umbrella uh, we are offering tuition uh, with this uh, unique product now what is the unbreakable umbrella well first thing it's uh, it's an umbrella so it, it can be an everyday carry uh, especially if you live in places like england uh, if you travel um, like uh, on the underground buses taxis so on and so forth you know if you're commuting around like uh, a lot of people do nowadays so um, one of the things one of the key things with personal protection is uh, barriers to entry. So, for instance, if you're traveling in a car, that's a barrier. If you're a pedestrian or a commuter, then you're kind of restricted to the amount of barriers that you have, which leaves you vulnerable. Okay, so we need to uh, lay the first principles of, of that. So this is aimed at the pedestrian uh, who's commuting to work, uh, to friends, family, to, to a night out, so on and so forth. Now... The unique thing with the unbreakable umbrella is that it's perfectly legal. It's an umbrella, okay? It just so happens to be unbreakable. So, with that uh, in mind, uh, with the unbreakable umbrella, it's very, very strong, sturdy. Uh, it operates as an umbrella. Uh, it's got a, a butt on the end. Uh, also, it's got like a sharpened tip, which you can uh, put stoppers on to, uh, to give it grip. Uh, also, to... Um, uh, to reduce the amount of uh, impact that it may have. Now, the beauty of this product is that it's perfectly legal. It's an everyday carry. Uh, it's, and you won't stand out carrying uh, an umbrella, especially in places like uh, London or in England. Uh, the English are famous for the umbrellas, so this is a perfect uh, everyday carry. Now, with regards to the legalities, it's an umbrella. Now, if you happen to use it in terms of self-defense, to protect yourself, then it's legal. But if you, any object that you use uh, with the intention of self-defense, then it's questionable and potentially illegal. So we need to clarify that straight away. Now, the beauty of this product is that it has no markings on it that indicates it's a weapon. Uh, I know that there has been some other manufacturers, especially gun manufacturers, I won't name the names, but they've produced products of this nature but what they've gone and done is they've gone and put their, their gun logo on the handle or, or some part of the product. So straight away you've got a problem. You've got a problem with intent. So if, you, if you're carrying an umbrella that's made by a gun company, as an example, then when you join the dots, it, it could leave you a little bit, a little bit liable or, or actually liable uh, in a court of law. So we need to be aware of this. Personal protection isn't just about protecting yourself in a confrontational situation. It's also about protecting yourself from the legalities and the consequences of any actions that may take place in an altercation or a personal protection self-defense scenario. So these things uh, need to be looked into. Now, these are the things that we, we teach um, in our classes, uh, also on uh, our WhatsApp groups, uh, Zoom uh, hookups, also on our Facebook pages. Um, although it can be difficult to go into detail on um, social media. So we always recommend that you've, you go via the consultancy path. So uh, I do offer one-to-one -one consultancy or small group consultancy. Same, same thing can be done over the telephone. It can be done uh, via Zoom or WhatsApp groups and um, uh, any form of video connection like uh, Skype. So going back to the umbrella. So we've got an umbrella that's unbreakable. It's uh, everyday carry, it's legal, uh, it's strong, it's tough. It can be used as an umbrella, it can also be used to protect yourself. Now, with regards to the personal protection side, it can be used for blocking, deflecting, 
creating space and distance, uh, also can be used just as a deterrent. So, for instance, uh, a, a criminal that's looking for a potential um, victim, uh, if he has a choice between somebody that's carrying um, just a bag or somebody that's carrying an umbrella, uh, it's pretty obvious which one uh, they're likely to go for. So just the visual deterrent is, is enough. Now, uh, with all my personal protection uh, consultancy and training, I put a lot of value on visual deterrence because a visual deterrent can, can be up to 90% of the problem solved because all you're doing is you're pushing, um, you're pushing the, the, the act of the crime away. Uh, so you're dispersing the, uh, uh, the crime. Now, we can never ever get rid of the crime completely. Uh, basically, you're just pushing it to, to somewhere else, which is uh, the foundation of, of any security personal protection uh, device or product. So uh, if you use the analogy of a house alarm, so if a burglar's walking down the street, he sees one house with a, an alarm, another house without, which one is he gonna choose? It's kind of obvious. Likewise with a, a dog, if there's a dog barking, especially a big dog, uh, and it sounds like a big dog barking in the house, and then there's a house without a dog, which one is the criminal gonna choose? It, it's, it's, uh, it's a no brainer, really, for the criminal. Now, uh, Forms of personal protection, uh, it, it, it doesn't have to be lethal force. Now, this is something that I do go into uh, in my, uh, into greater detail in my classes and um, um, consultancy, uh, but I'll, I'll kind of quickly skim over it, but don't use this, uh, what I'm saying right now, as, as, you know, uh, as everything. Um, it's not fully comprehensive. I'm just going to skim over it. So, for instance... Not all forms of personal protection have to end in lethal force, okay? Now, we try to avoid lethal force for obvious reasons. So we start off with a visual deterrence and your, um, how you carry yourself, the, your levels of awareness. So, you know, a criminal would potentially be looking for somebody that's either intoxicated, uh, tired, half asleep, uh, injured, not well, uh, so on and so forth. So the awareness, is, the awareness levels are not, not what they should be now. So visual deterrence can be anything like uh, being aware, paying attention, uh, observation, um, protection dogs. So for instance, if somebody's got a, a big scary dog, uh, it doesn't necessarily have to be a scary dog, it can just look like a big scary dog. And quite often uh, when clients come to us, um, not, not often, but it, it does happen from time to time, I actually recommend that they don't have a full-out protection dog or that they don't carry um, uh, a full-out um, everyday protection um, device, um, especially uh, overseas. So it's not, you know, like a handgun. I wouldn't give or wouldn't recommend everybody to carry a handgun. Uh, obviously, in the UK, you can't do that anyway, but um, I, I do consultancy work abroad uh, where you can carry. Now, certain people... Um, they're going to be a liability if you give them a, a handgun. They'll either end up shooting themselves, shooting their loved ones, or um, using it inappropriately and ending up in jail or, or dead or injuring or life-changing uh, injuries to friends and family, so on and so forth. So <laughs> I don't always recommend uh, to use uh, handguns and stuff like that. So bring it back to the umbrella. The umbrella is perfect. It's a perfect uh, device. Um, nowhere on the product does it state that it's a weapon. Nowhere does it state that it's uh, even for personal protection. All it claims is that it's unbreakable. And the rest is left to the person that, that purchases it or, or carries it. So it, it, is, it is first and foremost an umbrella, uh, a visual deterrent. Then, worst case scenario, it can be used to protect yourself using reasonable force using the force to, to stop the attack and for you to escape. Now, another important factor is all forms of personal protection is based around time. Any investment that you make in personal protection, whether it's uh, security devices, alarms, CCTV, uh, protection dogs, umbrellas, um, bags, uh, suitcase, walking stick, so on and so forth, um, all you're doing is actually buying time. There is no guarantee. There is absolutely no guarantee. I never offer a guarantee. Okay? All you're doing is buying time. But in a difficult situation, in a hostile situation, 
uh, seconds count. So what we're looking to do most of the time is to buy ourselves around about six seconds. Six seconds makes a massive amount of difference as to whether you will uh, be a victim or a survivor. Okay, so this is very important to understand. Now, what we're looking for is to buy as much time as possible. So, for instance, an umbrella, that's going to buy you time from the point of view of a visual deterrent. When a criminal's doing his interview on you and you're stood there with an umbrella, that's potentially going to buy yourself time because he's going to hesitate to make a move. Uh, especially if you, if you look aware and you are aware and you, you're, you carry yourself and you're carrying the umbrella in a particular manner. Not that it looks uh, aggressive. Uh, we always avoid looking aggressive. But what we try to do is to look assertive and attentive to our environment, to the people around us, and also to whatever we're carrying, whether it's our bag, our phone, uh, an umbrella in this case. So these are very important factors uh, to look into. So uh, I also recommend if you, got, if you are going to carry uh, an unbreakable umbrella, you also need to look at other things like you know, the way you're dressed, uh, type of footwear you've got. Uh, can you move around? Now, I've tested this umbrella uh, indoors and out. I've, tr I've tried it wearing various different types of clothing from uh, suits to overcoats to sportswear to, to more or less everything. And um, I'm really happy to report that uh, the results are, are great. Now, in our um, personal protection training, we do use uh, objects like uh, Japanese sticks, which are known as joes or bows. And um, the bow stick is approximately the same size. Now, what I've been able to do is transfer majority of the techniques that I would use uh, with the, the wooden stick um, from the martial arts, translate it directly into the unbreakable umbrella. Um, there will be some photos and some short videos uh, available soon of some of the training. Now, um, we were really pleased about this because it means you haven't got to learn a whole load of new skills. Um, it's, it's actually really simple. There's no mechanism. Uh, you haven't got to load it. You haven't got to uh, take the safety catch off or anything like that. Uh, it's, it's ready straight away, okay, which is really, really good. And also it can act as a distraction. Um, we've been able to um, uh, use use it in many different scenarios, situations from um, one-on-one, uh, two-on-one, three-on-one. And like I say, I always go back to the, the fact that you're buying time. Uh, that's what you're really doing, you're buying time. Uh, but like I say, I'm really happy to, um, um, to have used this product and to endorse this product. And we do actually sell this product via our website and Facebook uh, pages and groups. Uh, or you can contact me directly um, via our uh, social media. So I'm going to wrap it up and um, I'm, like I say, I'm really happy to endorse this product and uh, we've thoroughly tested it in all different situations. Uh, we've tried it under all different uh, weights and um, we've pushed it, we've pulled it, we've bent it, so on and so forth and it still operates as an umbrella perfectly well. So uh, I'll sign out and uh, stay safe and just remember to stay private, protected, and peaceful. Thank you very much. Goodbye.